jail felony. You've known by so many monikers. The, the yes. close homies call you bullet still, huh? Yeah, the homies call me bullet, cuz. Bullet, bullet, loco. <laughs> it doesn't matter if you hate me, but when you systematically try to destroy us, mm -hmm. that's who fucking where the problem comes in. You systematically trying to destroy us. You can hate me from afar. I don't feel that. You're the only one going to feel that. But when you systematically try to destroy a motherfucker, that's when there's a problem. And that's what they've been doing since the beginning of time. You know, my brand is J.O. Felony, you know what I'm saying? And um, I probably killed the negative side. Some people know I'm not on no negative shit, but J.O. Felony is justice against y'all oppressors, you know what I'm saying? It's not just a negative aspect to J.O. Felony. J.O. Felony actually stands for something and means something, and justice against y'all oppressors is what J.O. stands for. So, and that don't sound like go kill a nigga because he got on some red, nigga. Justice against y'all oppressors. It's everybody are trying to oppress black people or anybody of color. Oppressors, I'm against you motherfuckers, and I'm gonna get you. And I got everybody with me too. Not only blacks, I got white people with me. Blacks, Indians, Mexicans, Samoans, Chinese motherfuckers. We all coming because we hate racism. And it's not about we against white people, we against racism and those that hate others for the color of their skin. That's some dumb shit. And we're against that shit. And all of us as humanity have to come together to get this shit out the fucking planet. You mentioned Moscow. A, a lot of these places, I remember talking with, um, with, uh, Fredro. Yeah. He hits all these Eastern European cities yeah. that I ain't never heard of before. Yeah. Um, what is going on out there in terms of hip hop and why they, like, they love the American rapper from, oh man, from it's California or New York. Um, it's like they give you your flowers while you're here type shit. You know what I'm saying? They, they really appreciate the performance. And um, especially if you're given, like, like Exhibit was saying, um, either you're going to hit or you're going to stink. Or you're going to stink up the shit. It's no in between. So luckily I hit. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I found my routine. And within uh, the first three to four shows, I was locked in, you know what I'm saying? So for the rest of the like 22, 23 shows we did, I had my routine down and I just fell in a zone, you know what I'm saying? And that shit was rocking. We, we, you know, Exhibit told me, he's like, man, you fucking did an incredible job, you know what I'm saying? So I, I've, I've learned, you know what I'm saying? I've learned, and even I brought that shit back to the States with me. I can't wait to perform over here so people can see what, I'm, what I got. You know, uh, what shit. artists would you like to work with that you haven't worked with or maybe haven't met, but you like their vibe, their flow, and you definitely would love to collab with that person? Um, who would I like to collab with? I like to collab with uh, Kendra Lamar. I like Kendra Lamar. Um, Jonah Lucas. I like Jonah Lucas. And um, Chris Brown. I like Chris Brown, too. That would be dope. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to name some um, artists that you've worked with, and I just want to yeah. become the first thing you think of. Um, yeah. E-40. E-40, man. That's Unk right there, man. That's the big bro, man. Uh, you got to, when you around E-40, you got to really listen, because he'll say some shit so fast. And be, he'll be like, oh, did he just say what? You know what I'm saying? It's, it's you got to, you got to be on your toes fucking with 40 water, man. Cause he gonna say some shit and it'll slide right past you, man. It'll go over your head if you ain't paying attention. <laughs> Ice Cube. Ice Cube, man. That's the G, man. Legendary, man. I love working with Cube. Um, he's one of my favorite rappers of all time, no doubt. The Goat. Method Man. Meth. <laughs> that's bro, bro, right there, man. It's always been love with Meth. Meth has always been down to earth, man. A good guy. Um, Smoke out, smoke out, smoke some weed with my dog. Straight up. Mac 10. Mac 10. That's Mac 10. Mac 10 keep it gutter, man. That's my nigga. You know what I'm saying? We always had a good rapport. Uh, I remember I was on a recipe album with him and shit. And uh, he did the remix for me with me, me Red Man, and uh, Dub C. Uh, shit, Mac 10. That's my dog, man. You already know. And uh, I know I asked you about this cat before when um, I was down in San Diego. Another, yeah. another San Diego artist. Now, I don't think when I asked you the question, you guys hadn't worked together yeah. before. But Mitchie Slick. 
shit, man, Mitch doing his thing, you know what I'm saying? It's all love. He he work a lot with uh, a guy I grew up with helping help Mitch get his career cracking, uh, my boy Cricket, you know what I'm saying? Cricket is a producer that basically helped me and Mitch get our career started. He he produced one of the first songs for me that got me my deal with Jam Master J, but um, shit, I look forward to working with Mitch, man. You know what I'm saying? The, the city of San Diego looks forward to us making some music together, and that's that's why I say it's bigger than us. And the so, last guy I want to ask you about is someone that probably believed in your career more than anybody else in the last several years, and that's who you just mentioned, Exhibit. Yeah. Talk about him for a minute. Man, X, man, that, that's my nigga, man. That nigga's going to mastermind something. X going to come with something, make make something happen. And um, shit, I just, man, that's my bro. You know what I'm saying? And he, he helped me get to where I am now as far as, you know, being an entrepreneur, taking control of my shit, you know what I'm saying? And, and really, uh, you know, being creative. And, and when I when I seen how he creates and fucking work with Dre and shit like that, it just make me want to be creative and work hard at what the fuck I do and get it done, you know what I'm saying? So uh, that's my bro for life, you know what I'm saying? So I like I like having people like that to where I can call, like, hey, nigga, I'm in town, nigga, come through, bring your ass up here, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's good to have people like that in your corner, you know what I'm saying? So I'm just glad, I just want to make those guys um, proud, you know what I'm saying? Make Exhibit, Dre, and all those guys proud of, of, of uh, my, my chess moves and me being uh, 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 handling my business to the fullest and stepping up to the plate and not fucking up, you know what I'm saying? Not fucking around, being incarcerated and wasting time and shit like that. But um, staying on my shit and being a real businessman, man, and, and accomplishing my goals and, uh, and accomplishing new goals, you know what I'm saying? Setting new goals and getting them accomplished and helping other people along the way. And, um, you know, being productive out here, man, straight up. Man, much love to y'all. I can't wait till you guys see me perform again. I can't wait to interact with the crowd, take pictures and, you know what I'm saying, shoot the shit, smoke some weed, have some drinks. Uh, damn, man. I mean, I miss you guys, man. I miss the crowd. I miss being traveling. I miss having fun. I miss going to comedy shows. I'm going to go to some plays. I'm going to go to every goddamn thing when this bullshit over with. I'm going to plays, rodeos. I don't give a fuck what it is. I just want to see some people, man, have some fun and be glad that we survived this bullshit that we've been going through. Thanks for watching StreetTV.net. If you're not subscribed, please hit that button below and click the bell to receive alerts and notifications. Feel free to comment below so you can give us your feedback and be sure to watch the two related episodes to the right. If you want to support this platform or follow us on social media, visit the links in the description. And thanks for watching StreetTV.net.